Hello and welcome. It's me, Marls44, and welcome to another Vanguard Zero pack opening. This time we got set 10 uh, Dazzling Divas. So we got Jewel Knights, Prism, Celestials, and uh, Magus cards entering the fray. Um, as Vanguard people would say. <laughs> Uh, that sounded stupid, but eh, it, it, it's a me thing. Um, anyways, so, um, set 10, it's looking pretty exciting, uh, exciting. Uh, most of the decks are really, really good, and I will get into them <clears throat> when we do the pulls, but for now I'm gonna discuss, like, the new info here. Uh, so, first off, I forgot to check what this was. We have the Blue Storm Cavalry, released for Card Fight Vanguard, so I assume the normal TCG has um, released Blue Cavalry, and uh, we got some sleeves for it, so they've been doing this for a while now, where they've been le releasing sleeves as we get um, new packs, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. I, I like it. It's, um, it'll definitely... It, it definitely adds something to it where you don't have to just... You can have some sleeves featuring cards that aren't even out yet, um, which is kind of nice and, and kind of neat. Uh, Puppy is here with me. She just pushed my arm up with her nose. Hello. Um, she would like to go outside, but we are going very soon. I just had to record this video. Anyways, Dazzling Divas. You can get SP cards, so you'll get SP medals for doing... Um, for doing uh, summons, uh, and you can get SP versions of them. So you need 100 medals for the triple R SPs, and through 30, uh, th th 30, uh, 30 medals for the double R SPs, um, which is nice for every. I, th I believe I'm pretty sure that for every summon you get. Oh my God! Hello, hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> She's jumping on me. For every summon. You get, um, one, for every pack, you get, you know, one medal. So you do a hundred packs, you get a hundred medals, you can get a triple R without having to craft it. And it's SP as well, which is really cool. So that's really neat. Uh, I really like that because it helps free to play players as well. Um, in this sense of like, okay, I saved up, I have a hundred, now I can do this, awesome. Um, so I really like that part. Uh, but it's also really cool to just kind of have them and show them off, honestly. <laughs> and then we got the Rank Fight Season with Ashley being the feature card. Uh, I really like this Ashley. Um, I don't, I, I never really liked the original art of Ashley. Reverse was cool. But I don't really like this original art, the, the original art, but this art... This art, the rank fight one, really good. I am trying to get at least one. I'm, I've already started to climb and trying to get one. And then we got the Ashley sleeve and the Prism uh, Labrador sleeve as well for the rank fight season. Um, so card introductions in here, uh, they showcase the new cards now a little more. Um, so we got Prismy, Sybil, uh, Pen Dragon. Sanctuary Guard Dragon, Ashley, Salome for Royal Paladins, uh, and for Oracle Think Tank, we got Crescent Magus, uh, Brillouette Magus, I think you say, that's how you say it, uh, and Pentagonal Magus, um, Bermuda has Prism Promise Celtic, Prism Image Vert, uh, Costume Idol Alk, and Planet Idol Pacifica. And also Prism Promise Labrador. Um, so this is really nice because it instead of listing all the cards, you can see them. You can see th their abilities a little clearer and everything. And uh, you'll be able to decipher what you want a little more since you'll actually know what the cards look like too. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's not that hard because you can see the names. But this kind of touch I, rep I appreciate. I appreciate this little touch. And if they probably had this last time too. I just I probably missed it. Um... But I haven't seen it before then, so, well, um, un unless I miss something, unless I miss a me missed a memo, but that's me. I miss some memos sometimes. Um, and as for an Angel Feather, we have Underlake, Celestial, he Hes, 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 
<laughs> Hesedil? I, I don't even know. Um, and we have Candle, Celestial, Sariel, um, and S Solidify, Celestial, and Solidus. <laughs> oh my god. And Solidify, Celestial, Zorakiel. Zorakiel is exciting. I'm excited about Zorakiel. Um, and the Gotcha Exchange edition of new cards. They're showing you what the new cards are. So these are the four main units. We just saw them, but they're there. Uh, new cards and more are being added. So we have the Rekka uh, school outfit, the Korin school outfit, Suiko, Suiko school outfit, and the Emmy school outfit. So we have all of those. And uh, we have the Christmas event going on that you can obtain uh, Christmas Aichi, Christmas Kai, um, and sleeves to go with it, and stuff for your room, home skins, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I like I like how a lot of this stuff looks. I'm not too big on the Christmas outfits, but honestly, I might just pick them up just because. Um, probably just Kai's though, but I might pick up Aichi's, I don't know. Kai's looks cool. Aichi's is just... A standard kind of kind of one I, Kai has his like shirt under it like his normal shirt like if I'm wearing this I'm wearing it as me <laughs> um, and then there's this event going on that uh, I, I don't know who this is but it's a special collaboration and basically you uh, you get these packs and I'll show you where you do these summons it's on the normal summon area um, and the packs you can only pull her so you get four of her as permanent, and then the rest you get like medals of her face. And you can get sleeves, an emblem, and an SP card of her. Um, and I think you can even get a fight skin? No, no, I didn't see a fight skin. Unless I'm wrong and there was a fight skin, but yeah. And uh, there's good prices for the gems as well now as well. Um, if, if you buy gems, there's good prices, so if you're gonna save up, if you're gonna if you know you're gonna buy gems in the future, now is the time to buy some to save up for later. So uh, that's something as well. Uh, I'm not sure if the trial decks received anything new. I don't think so, but we're gonna double check really quick. <clears throat> really quick. It did not. All right. Uh, I want to look at this event event exchange quickly. So yes, there is a sleeve. Um, there's the. Um, Icon, I think that's what this is. The yeah, the icon for your character. Uh, there's the banner, and then you have these cards, these SP SP cards. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is. I think it just might be. Oh, here it is. I see the difference. You can only buy one of each, so some of them are cheaper than others. So this one's a thousand. This one's two thousand. This one, this one's three thousand, and this one's four thousand. Um, so to get one, you just you could just get the 1,000 one, but if you want all four, you, you're you gonna have to get a lot of these. But you get them by doing friend fights, by doing every, every time you do a ranked fight, you get five. So if you want to get that, just to have it. Uh, and she's usable in all clans, she's just a 10k grade two. So I just wanted to explain that quickly. And here's where you do the summon, you just do this, play, and I have like 61 of these. I'll, I'll get to them later. <laughs> I don't really care that much about it, but... It'll be neat just to have something special because of a crossover event, you know? Anyways, here we go. Set 10, Dazzling Divas. Let's look into this. Uh, so what Pentagonal Magus does is limit break 4 when your Vanguard attacks. Declare a card name and reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is the card declared, add it to your hand. And this card gets plus 5k and plus 1 crit until end of battle. And the Magus deck has a lot of top deck checking. Um, so it's very easy to know what is at the top of your deck. Um, and then we have Labrador. What she does is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, call up to three cards from your hand to an empty rear guard. If you call three Prism units, this unit gets plus 10k and plus one crit until end of battle. And also Counterblast one to return one of your rear guards to your hand. Uh, and you can only use that once per turn though, but yeah. Um, and Ashley is a break ride. Uh, when Road Upon, your Vanguard gets plus 10k and plus 1 crit until end of turn. In addition, call a grade 1 or less Jewel Knight from your deck. Um, which is really good. Really, really good. Uh, I don't think it had that. I don't think the original game had that. I think it had something like... 
I don't even think I had that. I think it was just against 10k and a crit, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think you even got a superior call. So that's a nice buff. Um, I didn't even notice that buff, and I've played a couple of Jewel Knight players already. I didn't even notice it. What it also does is, uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, it gets plus 3k until end of battle. And for the final one, Zarekiel. I know a lot of people are looking forward to Zarekiel, because now Angel Feather is actually good. Um... Let me break four. At the start of your battle phase, put one of your celestial celestial rear guards into your damage zone face down. If you do, call a celestial from your damage zone to the same rear guard. In addition, if solidify celestial Zerekiel is in your damage zone uh, and it can be face down, it gets the following ability until end of turn. All of your units gets plus 3k, and you counterblast, and you can also, its other skill is also counterblast 2 to get plus 5k until end of turn. So, you have all of that. Oh my god, that, whew, I need a breather quickly. Whew, you know, that was, <laughs> that was quite a lot of my, uh, whew, <laughs> Took a drink and then a puppy needed to be let out, so there's that. Um, anywho, uh, I'm probably gonna get like a hundred packs from this. Uh, so first off, for what I want to pull, Jewel Knights mostly, but Zerekiel, uh, Celestial stuff would be great too. Mega stuff would be I would be happy with as well. I don't really care about the Bermuda Triangle stuff right now because they're not bad, but. I mean, I like them, it's just... I don't know. Prism's fun, but... I don't know. Uh, but it's mainly like Jewel Knight and... Oh, what's that? Is that a... What is that? I have no idea what that is. I think that's a... Um, a Celestial card. Oh, well, I know that one is. That's a PG for Celestials. Um, but anywho, talking about the tier lists to help you guys out with this. Um, if you guys ever want me to do a separate tier list video, like, and just talk about what I think and where, where like, the stuff is placed in said set. Yes! Salome! Yes! Awesome! Um, if you guys ever want to hear, like, that kind of discussion, um, and just have a video dedicated... Oh, awesome! Woo! And it's SP, too. Um, oh, okay. So this is probably... Yeah, it's a Celestial. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that the brake ride? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it might have been the brake ride. I'm like, no, wait, wait, wait. The brake ride's the other one. The one that was SP that was double R, I think. Ah, so yes. Okay, I am correct. You get 10 for every kind. So you could easily get um, another one if you've saved up. You can get another triple R if you've saved up. Easy, without crafting. Sweet. Um... But so for tier lists, let me know if you guys want me to do a separate video. Whole oh, SP Magus, okay, I'll take that. Um, because I will do that for tier lists if you would like, if you guys would like. Um, Magus stuff is fun. I just personally, I, I, I personally prefer Battle Sister a little bit more than them, but the Battle Sister buffs aren't coming for a bit. For a couple sets, I think, or something like that. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to do that. But first, I'm going to talk about just the general tier list thing. Like, I can go in more into more detail if I make a video about it. So, that's also why I'm saying it. But, uh, Jewel Knight is tier 1. Easy tier 1. Jewel Knight is stupid strong, uh, thanks to Salome being 11k, and thanks to Julia already being out. Jewel Knight is stupid strong. Um, and... Yeah, Jewel Knights are just crazy powerful. Like, they have pretty much everything. And there's, like, two variants you can run. The Blaster Blade Gansalot one, or the normal one. But, God, they are scary, though. Um, so they're Tier 1 with Gauntlet Buster. And uh, MLB has kind of fallen off a bit. A lot of people still say Platinum's Tier 1. I personally don't think so. I personally think Platinum's Tier 2. Because I do find it's very... In, in some ways, it's very lackluster, and even though it's solid, it's it feels like a solid, solid, like, top tier two. Uh, Glory is still tier one, of course, though. 
and uh, Spikes is tier one because Bad and Dragger with Dudley or Sin Singfried or there's they're just scary. Either one is just terrifying. Um, but yeah, Dudley Bannon is still terrifying too. Just spikes in general is just terrifying again, like usual. Um, so yeah, Jewel Knight, Spikes, Glory, and uh, Gauntlet Buster. Right, I'll still take that. Um, I'd say Gauntlet Buster and Jewel Knights are probably like. I don't even know. It's hard. It's hard to say. I'd say Gauntlet Buster, Jewel Knights. Spike are probably better than Glory, but like, I don't know. It's it's really hard to say because they're all just really fucking good. Um, and then a lot of the tier one decks like MLB is kind of dropped down a bit because it's just it can't do as much and it's a little uh, it's a little slower. It's okay. It happens. Yeah, that's the break red card. The the card at the bottom left for Angel Feather. Um, uh, but Zerekiel's. Zerekio and, uh, oh yes, I got Julia, sweet. Um, Zerekio and Magus are super strong as well. They are, like, high tier 2. They're very, very good. Uh, Zerekio gets multiple swings and can, and gets crazy power boosts, um, and things like that. And, you know, you can exchange cards in your damage and everything, and it's just it's just kind of nutty. Um, and Magus is very scary with knowing like the top card um, and things like that by being able to like work off of it. Okay, okay, don't know what that is. I think it might be your Bermuda. No, it's not. It's Oracle. Oh, it's a Magus. Oh, Magus. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> um. But, yeah, Prism, unfortunately, is, like, bottom of the barrel, tier 3, because they don't have anything going for them. They have, like, the one turn when you break ride, and that's kind of just it. They just kind of do nothing after that. The one turn that you break ride, they have that, that, that turn does some things, and even then it's not amazing. It's not, like, other break ride decks. Um, it, it's... You could still do... It still does quite a bit, but, like, not enough. And then you just kind of do nothing for the rest of the game, and before that, you basically kind of just do nothing. It's... It's not very good. It's not a... It's not a very, very good deck. It needs a lot more support, but support's not coming for a while. It, it'll probably be a much better later on when it gets more support, but it just doesn't have that support right now. And that's the unfortunate part. It's kind of like... It's the same thing with, like, Gancelot and, um... Well, Liberators in general and um, Genesis, they just don't have a lot going for them, and it just they need that more support. Um, luckily, we're getting more support for Genesis next one, the next set, and hopefully, hopefully Fortune is better. I feel like she might be, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, there's all that, um, and what else is there? Um, so Blau Ethics is actually really good. So Beast Deities wasn't really that good in the first one, uh, in like last set I mentioned, but ooh. But uh, hair on my screen. Uh, Blau Ethics is actually, oh yeah, Salome again, let's go. Shit, look at me go. Um, but, but Blau Ethics is actually really good because, because of that, Blau can restand so it's like Ethics Buster rever Reverse, basically. Ooh, Zerekiel, sweet! <laughs> uh, it's like Ethics Buster Reverse, where it like you know it does the restand, but then your front row can restand since you swing again. So Bla Blau Ethics is very scary in that sense, but um, just Ethics in general is better than uh, better than we thought. It kind of like showed up a lot more and told everybody, nope, we're better. We're better than you guys thought we were. But yeah, um, it's a very solid tier two deck now. But uh, a lot of decks are kind of like, a lot of the decks that you'd consider still playing, like to climb and other stuff, are generally like tier two. Um, I'd say there's like four solid, four? 
No, I'd say they're four solid... No, yeah, four solid tier one decks. Being Spike, Jewel Knight, uh, Gauntlet Buster Descendant, um, and Glory. And then everybody else, every, everybody else who's like really, who's still very strong, like the end MLB, Ethics, all that kind of stuff is like tier 2, Platina, all, all of that. Even Tsukiyomi, tier 2 still, because Tsukiyomi is just too consistent and too like, knowledge is power. Ooh, that SP is a recule! Yo! Popping off tonight. I say tonight because um, it's like 6 o'clock. <laughs> As I'm doing this, <laughs> it gets me excited. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, things are things. I feel like are coming along nice, a lot nicer now for Break Ride, and I feel like it's just gonna get even better. All right, I'll take that because I, I am cool with having some Mega stuff. Oh, look at that! That is beautiful. I think I might have to build. I think I'm gonna have to build Angel Feather now. That's gonna make me build Angel Feather. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, um, oh, where was I? Yeah. But. Yeah, th there's decks that you just don't even consider now because they're just very outdated as well. So I'm not really talking about any kind of deck that's like outdated. Although it's, I'd say it's a little. It, it can be a little challenging to be able to tell. Oh, damn. Uh, what decks are, decks are still outdated but even then even then it's um i feel like everybody has a general idea it's a lot of like limit break decks um cross ride decks like the end in mlb and stuff and pbo and and just stuff like that limit break cross ride break ride decks are mainly like the considered ones and only some limit break decks Um, some of them didn't get a lot of support here, like Coral really didn't get much. What are you gonna do? Like, Coral can still kind of do stuff, but didn't really get that much. So it's kind of like, dang it, for people who like playing Bermudas. Um, okay, how much more am I doing? Okay, I see how much more I'm doing. Alright, a couple more, I think. A couple more, I think. I think I do a couple more. Oh. Yeah, I think I might have to make a separate video. I do want to ask a question, actually, for you guys, um, as well. Not just about that separate video, but for doing deck and fights, I don't think I'll do camera um, because I just I just don't see a reason. It's not like I'm reacting to anything for these videos. I'm reacting to me pulling stuff, which is why the camera's good. But for the deck and fights, I don't think camera's necessary. Um, and I just want your guys' opinion on it. I know a lot of people do camera, like, just all the time for Vanguard Zero, because it's a phone game, but I never really did camera for a phone game, except for Vanguard Zero pack balls. Um, and I'm, well, no, just Vanguard Zero in general. So, it's kind of like, well, if I'm doing the fights, I don't think people really need to even see me. But... I just want an opinion. I just like to know what you guys think, you know? Um, this will get me my 100 also, SP, uh, medals. So that'll be kind of nice. I can pick up an SP card. Don't know which one I'll pick up, but I'll pick up something. I farmed hard for Jewel Knights. Like, I have, like, 400 Triple R Crafting Essence. Um, I didn't farm for Angel Feather, because... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, no. I was kind of preparing for other stuff. I'm preparing for the next set. So I was trying to focus on the one I wanted most this set. And preparing for other stuff. But now I think I have to build Zerekiel as well. So the nice thing is I can focus on that. Um, I try to prepare for future sets. Along with the one I want next as well. So for Royal Paladins, I've been preparing for a couple months. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Just how I do. Just how I do. Did we get a... Oh yeah, we did get the triple R, didn't we? 
Oh yeah, it's another Magus. It's four, isn't it? Yeah, it's four because of uh, the SP one. Oh. So now, after doing all those summons, it will get me. Oh goodness. I think it'll... Oh, I have to get that. But I want to see what I pulled as well. I wasn't sure if I still had to farm... Um... I wasn't sure if I still had to farm... Stuff for Royal Paladin or not. I don't think so. There we go, 100. 100 SP medals for dazzle, Dazzling Divas. Which means, if I go to shop... And go over here... I can pick... A triple R here... As an SP, so I could pick Ashley or Salome. I think I might go with Salome. That looks amazing. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll we'll see. Cause I can craft. I have 400 Triple R medals, and if I get an Ashley from Rank Flight, I can craft everything else for Jewel Knights, and I wouldn't really have to spend it on that. I could spend it for Zerekiel. Um, since I think I pulled, like, three Zerekiels, so I could probably run the deck now. I pulled a lot of Mega stuff, too. I pulled a lot of stuff there. Like, I know, I know there are times when, like, I do, the last few times I've done, like, 200 plus packs because I just haven't pulled as much, and I'm like, you know what? I, I care about these. I want to pull more. Let, let's, let's buy, like, 6,000 gems and just try to get more for the video as well, but jeez, I pulled a lot this time. Like, damn, I pulled a lot this time. And it was only 100 packs. Like, that was exactly 100 packs. Sometimes you just get lucky. Um, that's why you save up in case you don't get lucky as well. But sometimes you get lucky, and I think this time I got lucky. And I'm glad. It, it means I can save up a lot of this for uh, for next time. So, I think that's going to be about it this time. Um, let me know what you guys think about the two questions I asked you. More specifically, the one about um, making a separate video talking about the actual tier list um, for Vanguard Zero per each set. Um, but just let me know about both. Uh, but that one more specifically, because that is the important one that I want to know what you guys think. Um, so please, please do that. Very important, because um, I will do so. Um, I think the second one is something I think I will do, where I won't do cam on deck and uh, on deck and fights, because it just means I can it, I can do them faster. Um, it's a little more complicated to do them like that because people in the room and other things, whereas like. It's much easier to do that if it's not the case. So, yeah. Um, and I don't have to be staring at the camera as much. I can be more focused on the game and the fights. Uh, but I'll still be explaining because I'll still be talking. But anyways, that is all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was a little bit shorter of a video, but as I said, I, I got mostly what I needed. So there's no reason to, to use more of my gems. Um, I'm gonna save them for the next few sets um, because I'm excited about the next one and uh, I think there's I don't know if it's the one after the one after that that I'm excited about as well uh, Oh, no, it's it's the one with like Minerva and Dauntless reverse and stuff like that. That's that's the other one. I'm kind of like <laughs> Gonna really save for so it's the next set that one and there might be some sets in between that I'll pull for but but those are like the two, uh, uh, Tetra set, but those are like the main two that I'm like, yes, saving for these, um, Dauntless the End is going to be fun. So thank you all for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.